Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, as the title says, I just want to show you guys um, some common issues on when you're making your Minecraft server. Uh, modded or not, I'm going to do, I'm going to focus more or not, you know, common issues you get with like just a vanilla Minecraft server. Um, one of them is your firewall. That's one of the most common ones, allowing Minecraft through your firewall and uh, Homachi or Radmin if you're using those. Um, another one would be allocating more RAM to the server or allocating more RAM to the launcher. So a lot of people, um, and then there's also the verify user thing, which I'll, you know, I'll, I'll go with that after. So first of all, I just want to show you guys the firewall real quick. Firewall, what it does, it, it pretty much, um, it pretty much, it's what protects you from viruses. Um, it makes sure nothing can go through the firewall. The firewall is the, is the wall that blocks bad things from going into your PC, computer. Um, but sometimes it, sometimes it just blocks out like things like Java because Java is used for a lot of things, honestly. That's why when you download a jar file, sometimes it'll say, oh, it's harmful for your computer. Do you want to keep it or not? Same thing with Java. Um, that happens. And then uh, if you're going for Hamachi or Radmin, most of those also because it's a new network, right? So, you know, it, you just, sometimes you just have to allow it. Sometimes it will block it automatically depending on how strict you are with your PC. So for now, just go to uh, start and then type in control panel or just control should pop up. It should look like this. Uh, if it doesn't, then make sure it's a view by category Then maybe it'll be easier. Uh, go to system and security and in Windows Defender firewall, go to allow an app and fe or feature through the Windows Defender firewall. And then you'll see this here to be able to do some changes here, click change settings and scroll all the way down to the Java. So uh, it does, uh, it won't look like mine. It depends on how many things you have. Like I have bad line. I got TC. I got normal Minecraft. So I have all this. Um, yours might show only two. Yours might show four, six. I don't know. Depends. Um, just make sure they're all allowed through public and private. Public and private. To do that, just hit the check. Just like that. And once you've done that, click OK. Now you could do the same thing with Hamachi. If you have a Machi, um, which is right, uh, I just saw it right here. Machi client tunneling engine. If it doesn't pop up here, click another another app. Click that. Now I gotta find where I downloaded my Machi real quick. Mine's right here. Log me to Machi, and you wanna click Machi two right here. Do that. Just click open, and then it'll pop in. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it'll rename it to to this or not, but just hit public and private as well for that, and that should have fixed that. And then same thing for Radmin VPN, which is right here. You would go allow another app, browse, find it, put it in here. Radmin has two of them, but these were automatically added for me, so I didn't have to do it. So they might be already already there for you. So that's one of the main issues for um, why your server is not working. Um, see, the firewall is not only for the server host, but it's for everyone who wants to play Minecraft. So, um, if your friends can't join you, but your other friend can join you, then that would be your your friend's problem. So you would tell him, you know, watch this video. He, t he tells you how to allow Minecraft through your firewall. Blah blah. Uh, same thing with Amashi or Radman. Um, but I would suggest telling you and all your friends if, if one guy's having a problem, make sure you test it with different people. And then if nothing works, then it might be it might be just you. So, so that's that's a firewall. That's one of the most common problems. Another one is allocate more RAM to the server and launcher. So we'll go to launcher first. It's quicker. So you just want to open up Minecraft here. Um, doesn't matter about that. So you go to installations here, right? And then let's say we want to play latest release. Go edit right here. And then more options. And then right here, where you see 2G here, right now we're using only 2 gig RAM, right? It's a maximum of 2 gig RAM. So if you want to edit that, you can write 5G. 5G would use, it would go up to like, oh, we have 5 gigs of RAM allowed in this. So RAM, 
is really important in this because let's say you have a server with like 10 people, right? The more people, the more RAM. And let's say you have, uh, I don't know, let's say you have a server of 20 people, right? And you have a lot of mods on your server. All those mods are going to use only two gigs of RAM to support the server, which means you're going to have a lot of uh, tick lag, like a lot of backlogs, you know? Um, your, your server is going to be running late in milliseconds. It's going to be, it's it would be really bad. So that's how you fix that. Um, this is also, also an issue about like loading in the game with a lot of mods. That's also an issue. So that's out. And now for allocating RAM to the, to the server. Uh, let me open up my server files real quick. Here. So I got a server right here. This is not modded, but let's say, let's say it was modded, right? And you're running it with a, um, you're running it with just a server thing, right? So you want to, to run it with more RAM, you're going to have to create a batch file. So to create a batch file, you want to right click here, new text document, right? That's, you don't need to name that. Just open that up. And then the code for it, I already have it written down right here. I'm just going to copy that. And the code for it, you don't want to put it in there, type in Java. And then this is your maximum RAM and then space minimum RAM and then dash star and then the server, the, the, the file name. So my file name is server. So I just named it server. Pretty, it's pretty simple like that. And then what you want to, here's your maximum RAM. So if you have 16 gig RAM, don't put 12 gig RAM because you're using like the, almost everything. Um, this doesn't mean you will be using it, but your minimum RAM means that you're going to use at least eight gig RAM. Um, obviously the more RAM, the better, but, uh, keep in mind that your PC is also running background processes and all that as well. Uh, so once you've done this, you want to click file, save as, make sure I save as type. You click, you click this drop box and you put all files and then name it start. I already have start, or I'm going to name it run just to show you guys dot bat, just like that. Make sure you type in dot bat because it won't work if you don't save and close out of that. And now I have a run dot bat right here. Refresh this. There we go. So if I run this, it'll run my server, and it won't look like if I run this, it'll look it'll pop up a black menu like this, like your command prompt, and then it'll just start loading everything in here. It won't tell you how much MS you're using. It won't tell you whatever. It will tell if if you are running back on MS, it will tell you. Um, but besides that, it won't. Like right now, I don't have any problems right now, so it's just gonna say done, and that's it. So now to stop it, same way, just stop. It's going to save everything. And then you just press any key to stop it like that. So those were the most common, um, those were the most common issues for vanilla Minecraft. Um, but another thing for another thing, like when you go more into depth, like let's say you are allocating more Ram, um, to the server, you're sometimes going to get a heap size error. And to fix that, I have a video on it. I'll put the link in the description. But to fix that, basically you just, you, you've installed the wrong Java. You have to uninstall Java and go install the right one. That's pretty much all you gotta do. And then you do the whole step over again. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, make sure you guys join the Discord server and open the ticket. I have a ticket system in the, in the server. It's really simple that way. That way we can have a one-on-one -on -one con conversation and, you know, I can help you a lot better and faster. All right, guys, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video.